Boys, the Empyrean Foundation is here, and it bought with it the ability to get unlimited god rolls of all the sundial weapons and unlimited XP all without leaving the tower. That's right, boys, Papa MyFi is back to help you all out in getting that god roll breach light, that god roll steel feather, or whatever god roll you're looking for, as well as simultaneously leveling up as you're getting them. So if you're new and only if you enjoy the videos, then be sure to subscribe. Also, I will be live tonight over on twitch.tv slash my five with an underscore at the end. So if you have any further questions, then come on over and ask away. Okay, let's get into it. First thing you're going to do is go over and talk to the man, right? Good old dad, Saint 14. And from here, Saint will give you a quest called Bright Future, which has you go and defeat the final Sundial boss. This is the final boss we are going to need to defeat in order to get the savior title. And because I like being super efficient, I went ahead and just did it on legend as if you all don't know for the title savior, you need to defeat him on legend as well as normal. But if you go ahead and do it on legend, then it counts as both. So I did that. Plus I went ahead and got my pinnacle out of the way, little tips and tricks for you. And now once you have defeated the sundial boss, the quest is going to update and now you have to collect 30 orbs of light. The best place to get this done, in my opinion, is by going to Mars and starting up an escalation protocol and using masterwork weapons as they will generate orbs of light on kill. This part of the quest should only take you five to 10 minutes max. Now from here, you're going to go back to the tower and insert the light infused core into the tower obelisk. Now, once you have done that, you will be prompted to pick up generated polarized fractaline, but do not do it, okay? Don't do it. Exit the screen, don't you touch it, all right? Don't pick it up. Instead, you are going to want to go and speak to Osiris. Now, once you've let Osiris talk your ear off for the thousandth time this season, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go back to the tower and interact with the obelisk once more. You'll be prompted again to pick up your generated polarized fractaline, but just exit the screen. And from here, you will see that there is a new consumable available from the obelisk called light infused fractaline. This item is going to cost you 20,000 glimmer and 10 legendary shards. Buy as many of these light infused fractaline as you can. Now, once you have as many as you can afford, go over to the tangled shore obelisk. All right, tangle shore all day and give the light infused fractaline to it. For every one of these given to the obelisk, it will increase your obelisk rank, giving you more fractaline from the generated polarized fractaline that I told you to not pick up. You understand why I told you not to pick it up? Okay, good, because you should. From here, you can keep repeating this by just going back to the tower's obelisk, ignoring the generated polarized fractaline, and buying as many of the light infused fractaline as you can, then turning around and going back to the tangled shore obelisk and dumping the light infused fractaline into it. This method actually will end up netting you more overall fractaline, but you can't take advantage of the method I'm about to show you if you decide to do it this way. But if you want to go ahead and start getting those God rolls and all that XP, then once you've turned in as many light infused fractaline as you can for the first time to the Tangled Shore Obelisk, then head back to the tower and pick up your generated polarized fractaline. Now go ahead and pick up the time lost weapon friends bounty consumable from the obelisk, which increases time lost weapon bounties by 10% for four hours. At this point, once you've consumed the Time Lost Weapon Friends consumable, go ahead and start buying the weapon bounty that is associated with whatever god roll weapon you're hunting. Now from here, go back to the first page of the Tower Obelisk and start donating to the Empyrean Foundation, it's at the top. For every 100 fractaline donated, you will automatically gain 25% completion on every Time Lost Weapon Frame bounty. Side note, make sure you have as many bounties as you can hold, which should be four if you've maxed out all of your obelisk, as they will gain progress at the same time. Once you've done this four times, you know, 25%, you do it four times, that's 100%, all your weapon bounties will complete. The weapon bounties will of course give you the weapon, but will also give you XP. With the well-rested buff, shared wisdom, and a guiding light ghost show, I was receiving around 12,500 XP per bounty. And keep in mind, I wasn't even doing the bounty, I was just donating to the Empyrean Foundation and just completing the bounty for me. Now, if you do end up running out of fractaline, then just continue farming the light infused fractaline and turning it into the Tangled Shore Obelisk. Make sure it's a Tangled Shore Obelisk, right? There actually isn't a reason for that. I just 
Tangle Shore Obelisk Gang. And that will increase how much Fractalin you will get back next week on Reset. You can also be doing the bounties that reward Fractaline to continue getting God Rolls and XP if you just want to put the Fractaline you get from those bounties back into getting, you know, time loss weapon frame bounties. And there you all go. Hopefully you all are able to go out and get your God Roll weapon or just tons of XP if you're still trying to max out your season pass or if you're just trying to level up your seasonal artifact for that power boost. The rest of the video is going to be me fighting in the Sundial with the new boss this week. So you all can enjoy that if you want. If not, then I hope you all have a great day and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Took you got the sound switch.
Chucky got the sauce, bitch.